Well, I hope you understand yourself that you can't go on like this. What is it from? Brazen. From what else to ask? It's all your fault. It is necessary to undress more modestly, to behave more modestly, too. And then he walks around here, twirls his ass, then asks questions. From what? There you go. And we're even. It won't be enough for seducing the lights. I hope that's enough and don't overestimate yourself. Well, I just know my own worth. Your wife's difference. Fuck you. So. Masha, Masha, Masha. A subscriber is not a subscriber. So. Hello. Why aren't you picking up the phone? Vital. Vitaly, hi. Listen, is Masha with you? Great, you don't know, she called her mother already. Okay. So that's it, you take her for a walk now, take her to a restaurant there, to the cinema. Well, to distract myself. To come to myself. And most importantly, do everything possible so that the mother does not call yet. Don't worry about the money, I'll compensate for everything. Yeah, I just want to talk to Masha myself first. Come on, thank you, bye. <sighs> Haven't you left yet? Twirl. Mom, this is the third store. Because Grandpa needs to buy a gift. Well, you said yourself that you need to choose a gift in advance, and not in the last minutes. Well, she said, I was just looking, I didn't find anything. A gift worthy of your grandfather. Hello, is there anything I can help you with? Yes, we are looking for an anniversary gift for a man of 70 years. Yeah, I can offer crystal or just a set of Murano glass glasses. You can have a service, but they are usually taken as a gift for women. And this chess. An excellent choice. If you want a memorable gift, you can quickly make an engraving. Well, let's celebrate the anniversary after all. Dictate the inscription. Ilya Ivanovich from Dmitri, Alina, Maria and Danila. Dear, without expensive, and without a loved one, and without a loved one, too, just Ilya Ivanovich. Mom, don't you love Grandpa? No, there's just not enough room for engraving. So, this way. And this is here. Ilyish, you know, I'll probably put the aspic on later, when the guests come, otherwise everything will melt. Well, look how. Is it okay? It's fine. Stop fussing. In general, it was necessary to order a restaurant. I've been telling you for a long time. You always want to show people what kind of hostess you are. Well, which restaurant? What are you? Is that what they cook for you in a restaurant? And I know that you like everything to be steamed and dietary. You didn't drink your medicine at 5 o'clock. Well, you see, I didn't follow up. You didn't drink. I'll get it right away. Don't. I don't want to drink medicine. I'm going to have a drink tonight. Yes, like this Mux. Does he really not love his mother at all? And how well they told. The first love, the only one. Forever. Mash, well. Who will sort them out, eh? Maybe your dad's having a midlife crisis. My mother always says that when my father gets a new mistress. No, you're so calm about it. Well, what else can I do? That's why I don't live with them. Got it. Baby. 
everything will be different with you and me, you'll hear. And I think it doesn't happen that way. To Rashi for life. You fool. Well, of course it happens. We're not like them. And we're going to be fine, do you hear? Are you sure? Yes. I'd like to stay with you. Your parents will let you. And who will ask them? Only the clothes need to be picked up. Don't worry. I'll buy you everything, take care of everything. Come on. Well, come on. Where is our grandfather, Ilya? Yes, yes. Look who came to us. Grandpa, happy holidays. Thank you. Ilya Ivanovich, happy birthday to you. Thank you. Well, where are your father and sister? Masha won't be able to come. She has an important test announced tomorrow. Maybe the medicine should be brought after all. Don't fuss. Yes, it's a pity. It's a pity that Masha couldn't come. But it's a young thing, of course, and it's boring with old people. Why is your husband late? Ah, the Tykoretskis. I'll open it. They always arrive ahead of time. Well, come in, come in, sit down. Hello, please come in. Katie Usha. We're home. The doctor said she was fine. He examined her from nose to tail and said how young she was. In a week, all the wounds will heal. And mom? Mom, did she call? Hey, let's watch a movie, huh? We'll have some ice cream. I don't want to watch anything. Come on, come on. And ice cream? And I don't want ice cream. Dear Ilya Ivanovich, we wish you good health and long life. Thank you. That's it. Thank you. Dear, my friends, thank you. Hello, hello, hello. Look who came to us. Mitya, Mitya. Thank you. That's how it was for you. I've called you several times. Well, son, maybe you can find an opportunity to say a few words to me and your father? Right away, right? All right. Dad. You have always been my model and ideal in everything. You know how much I respect you. You're probably the only person in the world I'm still afraid of. Thanks to you, I became what I became. Be healthy and happy. Thank you. Thank you, Sammy. Thank you. Well, the rest is said. Hooray. 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 Happy birthday. Thank you. You're so beautiful. Let's take a picture. Don't. 
Past it is necessary to communicate by memory. All right. Okay, but if you throw it to someone, I'll kill you. Got it. Don't be shy. Promise me you'll quit this business. Baby. Maybe it's none of your business. You know, I will never and for nothing to you or your loved ones. And we need the money. But you can also earn money in another way. Masha. I don't even do anything like that. I don't force them to buy drugs. They do. And if not from me, they will buy from someone else. And there, God forbid to get injured. Do you understand? <clears throat> Promise me you'll never hit me. Well, what about you? For what? I love you. I forgot my backpack, and the auto test. What kind of nonsense did you buy? Fantasies like a seashell. Why are we playing this stupid chess, huh? I made a commemorative engraving. This is an exclusive status gift. Who cares, is that all? The father was dissatisfied. Well, I'm sorry, I meant well. What's better? And you didn't lead Danya to boxing either, because it's better this way. His coach called me. Do you want our son to remain a rag and a weakling? Danny had problems today at school he was beaten up. And he will miss training, he will be killed someday. Can you understand that? Why are you letting some kind of freak beat you, huh? Dad, but they were older. I don't care. You should always fight back. What kind of misunderstanding is this growing, huh? Don't fight like a normal kid. There are no friends. Ugh, damn it. Dim, look at the road, please. Go. Danya. Let's wash up and sleep. I have to get up early tomorrow. All right. All right. Well done. Oops. Dim. By the way, I fired Svetlana. Fired? And why? Look at her, she can't iron her shirts properly. In general, you need to do more housework, otherwise we trust outsiders. There is no housekeeper, the house is already a mess. Dim. But you said that Masha was supposed to have a party. Haven't you seen her since high school? Do I have to keep an eye on her, or what? And anyway, the fact that she's hanging around is your fault. You went to the men at her age, too, didn't you? Dim, listen, let's not start, okay? What's really not to like, right? Dim, it's not true, it's an insult. Look how we started talking. An insult? Don't you remember what kind of shit I pulled you out of? He won't hear. Don't shut my mouth. You should kiss my feet all my life. I've been working up Masha from no one knows from whom. A prostitute. <laughs> Mashal, you're back. I was overexcited. Have you been somewhere? Nothing happened. Vitalik saw you off, right? What did you just say? Say it again. I'm not his daughter. I hate it. Mash. Mash. Masha, wait. I'm not his daughter, not his. They took me all my life. Mash. Dad is a traitor. Mom, too. Masha, don't say that. Maybe I didn't understand everything so correctly. What did I get wrong? He called her a prostitute. Well, you never know what people say when they quarrel. Have you heard in mine? I went to grandma about it, because they got me. Let's go home. It's getting late. And the backpack. Forget it. We'll get sick tomorrow and we won't go anywhere. Listen. The main thing now is that you're with me, and you have nothing to worry about. Do you hear?
Vidalik and I will stay the night at his place. What did you hear? I'm not going home. Pash, let's dance. Oh, look, it seems to be someone from the Zodiac. Where? Yes, out, out. I don't see it. Ah, I got it wrong. Well, baby, let's have a cocktail and dance. If someone gets paid. Listen, Zaya, let's go to another place will you dance. Which one? It's a surprise, but you'll like it. Does everyone like it? Come on. Oh, bitch. Who are you? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Pash. Pash. Pashenka. Pashenka, this. It's not what you think. I do not know what it is or who this person is. I'll explain everything to you now. What's there to explain? And so everything is clear. Well, with the initiative, Zaya. What? Tash, what's going on here? Who was it? He's like me. This is my regular customer. I picked out the best for you. Clean, polite, generous. What more could you want? Tash, have you decided to make a prostitute out of me? Why these big words? Women were made for pleasure. Don't worry, at first everyone gets scared, and then they even like it. You'll see. No. I don't want to. I won't. Tash, please, and you let me go, and I won't tell anyone anything. Honestly, I won't say. Zaya, of course, you won't tell anyone. Otherwise, they will find your beautiful work somewhere in the park in the spring. Don't you realize how serious this is? Hey, dude, let the girl go. Fuck off. This is my girlfriend. This is our business with her. That's not true. Shut up. He said. Let the girl go. We're not done with you yet. Don't forget what I told you in the room. Come on, get out of here. I said get out. You're nothing. It's okay. It's okay. Al. Al, what are you up to, Al? Alechka, my dear. My dear, that's it. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot, I'm sorry. Everything's going to get better, do you hear? Everything will be fine as before. It was good, it was the same. And where is Masha? Masha, she. Vitalik has it. Don't worry. She didn't really understand anything. What Vitalik? Olenka, nothing, the main thing. The main thing is that she's fine now. That's it. It's okay. Come on. 
Let's change our clothes and have some tea. She's only 16 years old. She's a smart girl, but she guesses the consequences. Well, if you want, when she comes back, I'll have a serious talk with her. Dim. It can't go on like this. We need to get a divorce. We children suffer too. Ow. Oh, come on. Well, what are you saying? Well. You'll rest. Sleep, talk. Remember. You always wanted to know who Masha's father was. I'm ready to say. So? I have attention. Ilya Ivanovich. What does my dad have to do with it? He is Masha's father. What kind of nonsense are you talking about? You just decided to annoy me, didn't you? No, Dima. Your wonderful father. Your ideal. He's always had a thing for young girls. Maybe he's doing it now. You're good, right? Let's say it is. But then my father would never have allowed me to get married, so... And he didn't allow it. In case you forgot, your mom went to the hospital with a heart attack when she found out that her granddaughter would grow up without a father. She didn't know it wasn't your baby. That's when he gave in. Don't you dare talk about my father like that. And he also didn't set conditions. If anyone ever finds out about this, they will ruin our relationship. Actually, that's why I've been silent for so many years. Because I loved you so much. Loved? So you don't love me anymore, do you? Why did you tell me all this? For you to give me a divorce. Get up. We didn't agree into my... Ochka, what are you doing? Get up, honey. Mom, mom. Like my son, mom fell and it got bad, it got bad. Here she fell. Don't lie. I saw it. You pushed her. What did you see that? What did you see? Go to your room. Go, go. We'll talk later. Stay out of the conversation. Inhale. Give it to me. Give it to me. Hello, ambulance. Be careful. Be careful. Well, she's going to be fine, right? Where are you taking her? The fifth? It's right next door, two blocks away. Maybe it's better to take it to a private clinic. Do you want to go private? It was necessary to call them. We're an ambulance, not a taxi. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to offend, I'm just really worried. Me. I don't understand what's wrong with her, but I can't go because my son is waiting at home alone. Well, when you have time, come to the hospital and talk to the doctor. And we do not give forecasts. Yes. Okay, thanks. Tribute. Danya. Die, stop hiding, come out. Come here, do you hear? Tribute, I'll get there anyway, tribute.
What is Galena doing here? Household. Okay, wait a second. Alina Sergeevna? What's wrong with her? Craniocerebral loss of consciousness, hypertension. It looks like Hubby is spreading his hands. See her on CT? I'll be right there. He was born on the 5th of May, 2009th year. So. And what happened? Were there any conflicts in the house? No, that everything was fine. Murnu from the birthday. He went to his room. And then my wife became ill. He was scared. I called an ambulance, and he ran away at that time. So, where could he have gone? Do you have any other relatives? Yes, there are relatives, but he is not there. So, all right. Give the coordinates of your friends. Friends? Yeah. I don't think he has any friends. Will it turn out or not? Well, does your son communicate with someone? Well, classmates. I don't think so. Well, he does boxing all the time in training. So, boxing friends? I don't know. What kind of friends are there in boxing? All the rivals are there. Do you know anything about your son at all? I know you should start looking for it right now. All right. Hello. What about my mom? She was brought here recently. Who's your mom? Alina Tikanova. What's your name? Daniel. What's wrong with you, Daniel? Nothing, I just fell. What's wrong with my mom? You tell me, what's wrong with your mom? What happened? Where's your dad? Let me call him now. No, please, not to dad, don't. I'll take you home now. Tell me the address, let's go. No, I'm not going anywhere. I'll stay here, and I won't tell you my address. Come on, man. My day, or rather, night duty is over. And they won't let you see your mom until morning anyway. I'm going home. If you want, come with me. Can I? I see. Excuse me, please, for the patient who has just been brought in. Here, post it here for now. And tomorrow I'll talk to your mom and try to help. And how? We'll figure something out. But everything will definitely be fine. Let's go to sleep. I hope so. That's right. Hope lives even near the graves. Is that how you came up with it? No, it's Seneca Jr. Who? I'll tell you tomorrow if you're interested. And now to sleep. What happened? This is Danya, the younger brother of Masha. He's staying the night with us. Feed him breakfast tomorrow. All right. The door has two locks. And call me if you need anything. All right. Oh. Well, what did you do that you decided to go to the kitchen, huh? Good morning. And you? And I wanted to fry eggs. Not that I fry without oil. This is a cast iron frying pan, not Teflon. I wouldn't recognize all this newfangled stuff at all. I'm sorry. Okay, sit down. It's good that I fried pancakes. And in general, if you live with me, you will not cook, we will go to restaurants and eat. Take it. It's nice. You too.
Hello. Yes, Katyuk, I am. I want to buy something from you. Can you help me? A bookmark in Central Park. Where the stairs are, you know. Here, to her right is a tree, and under the tree is a cobblestone. That's where the bookmark is. You'll give the money back at school. Katyuk, his own people, will settle up. Yes. Yeah. Come on, Pokadova. Have you been talking to my Katyuka? Well, yes. You promised me that you wouldn't sell this stuff to your loved ones. Or have you forgotten how Tanya died that year? And who sold her a dose? You. Well, yes, I was selling. Well, I don't know who else was selling what. Moreover, I didn't force it, but I did it myself. The main thing is that I don't throw, and neither do you. Katyusha has problems now and needs help. Baby. Mark. Masha, what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm leaving. No, you're sick. You wanted to live here yourself. Or have you already changed your mind? No, Masha, you can't do that to me. Yes, so try to stop me. Yes, it's easy. If you leave now, then in half an hour your pictures will be on the internet, Jackdaw. And let this school know how accessible you are. I don't care. Since you're such a creature, do what you want, understand? Hey. What did the sheep say? If you hit me now, I'll go to the police and turn you in. The cops will be right to swing. Got it? Masha. I'm sorry, please. I just didn't want you to leave. Katia, please pick up the phone. Hello, Irina Sergeevna. Hello. How are you feeling? Well, it's much better today. Like yesterday, my head was spinning, and I lost my balance, fell. The weather must be changing. Well, about the weather, Alina Sergeevna, will you tell someone else, okay? And your husband beats you. What are you saying? I fell myself. And these bruises are from the fact that my blood vessels are weak. Thrombocytopenia. You don't have any thrombocytopenia. Arena Sergeevna, I'm not an investigator. I'm a doctor. I can help you. Only you have to tell the truth. Look, I've already told you everything. I do not know what you were imagining there. And I don't need any help. I'm doing great. Your bruises are also excellent, Elena Sergeevna. These remain after regularly inflicted injuries. You have to stop it. He hit your son. No. You're wrong. He couldn't, Dima. Dima is a great father. He will never raise his child's hand. Really? Then why did your son leave home? Wait, how did he leave? Don't move, you can't move. He's with my daughter Katya right now. He's fine. 
But you understand that this is temporary, that you can't live like this. Do you have somewhere to go, friends, relatives? There is, mom. You are resting. A little later I will take you to her with Danya and Masha. You can't go home. Someday your husband will just kill you. Who's there? And who are you? Who are you? Danya. Which Danya? Hello, Dan. Hi. How are you at home? What? How's the hospital? Yes. Dad hit her, she fell and lost consciousness. Where are you now? Yes, I'm at Katya's. Only she's kind of weird. <laughs> and who are you? What are you doing? Give it back. <laughs> Danya. Dan, what's going on? <laughs> Give it to me. Give it to me. Good afternoon. Patient Tikanova, is she lying here? I'm her doctor. Who are you to her? I'm her husband. Galina, take a look at the patient in the ninth. Maybe it's time to change the four there. Patient Tikanova has not yet recovered. In her condition, she needs complete rest. That is, she's not with anyone yet. She's not talking yet, is she? Well, I'm telling you, she's under the influence of drugs. The visit is closed for now. Come back tomorrow. Tribute. Katia. 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 Hello. This is Masha. Come home soon. Katia is ill. Katia. Yes, Mom, I'll come to you in half an hour. Let me explain everything to you later. You clean up a little bit, okay? Do you have any food? Mom, don't start, I'll explain everything later. Come on, I'm ready. Galina Sergeevna, I need to go home urgently now. I'll take you back later, all right? Is something wrong, Danya? No, he's fine. So, Katya, I'm sorry, I really have to run. I'll take you later. Me. Let me go. Well, no. Let the police deal with you. If you run out of the house, you'll be like me. Got it? Well, let me go. You don't know anything. My father beats me. He's doing it right. Such runners need to be supported like cider off goats. Maybe he'll get smarter. Come on in. Thank you, Tamara Sergeevna. You know, I have nothing anymore. 
Right now, right now, right now, just a second. Not left here, eh. I'll go to the store tomorrow, here. I'll buy everything and return it to you. Don't worry. Yes. Yes. Do you have unexpected guests? What kind of guests? Who comes to see me? So Alina does not. Does not call and does not come. Unless when you call. And now she called, said she would arrive in half an hour. So, do you think something happened? So how do I know? Am I a prophetic Cassandra or something? She said maybe. And maybe we'll come with the children, yes. Would you like me to bring you some jam? I still have a jar of homemade cherry there from last year. I will. I will be very grateful to you. I'll get it right away. So, another change of clothes. Oh, Maitrevek. On the hunter and the beast runs. Hi there. Yes. Is it urgent? You could say that. Today I had a lawyer for a boy who was hit by tits. He asked for the case materials. Well, to get acquainted. Wait, what lawyer? His mother has no money for a lawyer. Did you find a volunteer or something? Oh, no. The lawyer came from America itself. He said he was the boy's father. What father? Well, something like a small one. In short, this daddy, I don't even know how to explain it to you. Well, as in the American cinema show, of those who come to court and roll out their enemies on the asphalt. In general, it is set up to punish the offender in full. Well, we'll see about that. But thanks for the information. Yeah, come on. Son, hello. Well, we finally found you. Where have you been? We've all gone over. He was found by concerned citizens. There would be more such citizens. Come on, let's go, let's go. I'm not going anywhere with you. I'll stay here. Dinechka, son, what are you doing? Big deal, they quarreled. Anything happens. Come on, let's go home. Don't touch me. Let's go home, Dmitry Ilyich. Step away from the child. Yes. Yes, hello. It's me. Yes, this is my son. What happened? I'll be right there. 